Well guys, you're in for a treat today. I, we've never done a vlog of this anyway. Two years ago, when I was just starting out on YouTube, I did take some video, drone video of us cutting silage. But today we're gonna be cutting silage. We hire it out. Your lips are kinda chapped. Well, I was outside you went packing out, the pit you went all out day. Friday yet. night and Saturday night last weekend. Get out of here. Anyway, so when we're cutting silage, since we hire it done, I actually really don't do anything. Dad is going to be running the pit. He bought this blade a couple years ago. It's got oh, some. I want to explain. I'm so proud of this. Okay. So I bought this low, uh, Leon dozer with the frame for mounting up underneath the tractor and I just took the frame off and then I bought two Euro mounts and welded them to the to the blade or to the frame so now or to the blade so now I can push silage with my loader tractor mm -hmm. so if anybody wants to buy the mount for that Leon dozer, it's got it's got a hydraulic cylinder on it yep and then you can but, right. but, there's but no you don't get the blade, blade. you just get yeah. the mount. Hey, Jeff's here. Yeah. And so, not only that, but we finished wet corn yesterday. We, we just got done packing, if you saw that video. We got to pull the combine back home. I'm going to pressure wash that off today because it's pretty dirty. Other than that, the chopper's going to be out here in a few hours, and we'll get drone video and some video of that. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. You think Dad will fit in the back? Doubt it. Okay. <laughs> We're also getting a little low on corn at home. We're still letting that wet corn, you know, drop the pH and just kind of get ready for when we do start pulling out of it. So while we have the combine out here, we're just going to fill the combine quick, bring that home just so we have something to feed our calves. hitting some really good corn in here I just saw it up to like 270 that's wet bushels so it's not as high as that it's definitely is better than anything we've ever harvested before saw some 273 it, it's it's pretty crazy I gotta slow down it's coming in so good So we got plenty of corn to feed for a, at least a week, probably probably two weeks. We'll head home, dump that, but we'll just keep rolling here. Thanks for clicking on this video. Hit that hit that subscribe button. I don't know what a skuska is, but hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Home we go. That looks like work. That ain't so bad. A little dirty. It was weird driving up over here and all I saw was legs underneath the grain yeah. cart. I thought. I thought that ain't good. <laughs> you sure you didn't think, yay? No. Now, I, now I'm in charge. I definitely did not think that. I bet you if we just find the leak, we can patch that. This is the truck that I had to jump start yesterday. Let's hope she goes. She had to think about it. So the silage we're chopping is going to be coming to Jeff's place, the North Farm. His calving pasture is currently planted to sorghum, and it's not a big enough amount that's going to fill his pit, so we are going to have him chop some corn, and we'll put that down first, and then we'll chop the sorghum, which is greener, it's going to be wetter, and it'll soak down into the, into the corn silage. So that's the plan with that. We're still cleaning up from yesterday when we finished cracking corn, so just bringing home trucks and par parking stuff in the sheds. Y'all been saying it, y'all been letting me know that our combine's dirty. And I know, it, it, it should have been washed a long time ago. But we put it in the back of the shed, and it's just hard to get at. And you know, we have cattle and crops, and so we're usually pretty busy. But, I got my soap ready, we're gonna get going. I, it puts a smile on my face knowing that I get to use this amazing 4,000 PSI pressure washer from Schuster's out in Fairmont, Minnesota. I'm telling you, if you are looking at a pressure washer, 
they'll set you up with the right soap. They'll set you up with the pressure washer that makes you happy and fulfills your needs. Little shout out for you, Schusters. Maybe I should turn the gas on. We got our wax mixed up, grape flavored, you heard me, and pretty soon we'll be chopping silage if you're here for that, sorry it's taking a while, but we'll be, we'll be there in a minute. Alright, she looks pretty shined up, I'm sure I missed a few spots. Uh, you'll definitely see it when we get the drone out and don't look at this because I definitely missed that It's it just blows everywhere and it gets back on the machine and it's this it's gonna get dirty there in 20 seconds after harvesting anyway You look upset <laughs> <laughs> It just ain't worth it. It just blows everywhere this this jazz do it first Okay, you can clean the combine next time. I think it looks perfect. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> Uh, you can tell that wax really makes the water bead up on yeah. the... Yeah, and then it doesn't make water spots. For yeah. Me. Pickup's dirty. Yeah. It's never ending. We kind of own a couple things here and there, and they get dirty, and we have other better stuff to do besides walk yeah. equipment all day. We actually... That's probably the biggest reason we run dirty equipment sometimes, is we just don't have time to get everything done that we want to, and then... People ask, well, I come you work must for not you. Care about your equipment? You, know, you don't have equipment. Well, that, but people say, can I come work for you? Well, I'd love to have extra help, but I can't. It's just not in the not in the pocketbook to hire a man. Mm -hmm. He'll live better than we do. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you doing, huh? Where you been? Alright, so we're over at Jeff's place. Here's the corn pit that we got done covering, filling, packing yesterday, which would have been probably two, three days ago since you watched that video. And we're just starting the pit. Doesn't look like there's much in there. Dad's working pretty hard. We'll hop in there and I'm sure there's another truck on its way. I brought you drink. I have drink. I brought you more drink. I don't know where to put it. It'll tip over. Is there a shut off on it? Yeah, if it tips over, it won't go. Yeah, that's technology, man. Kind of dry. Yeah, I can see that. It yeah. looks pretty dry when they're cutting it. Look at that. Green yeah, green I'll go there. walk over there quick. Okay. The corn matured a little early this year. Usually we don't chop corn silage. The reason why, corn seed is really expensive 
and we just rather plant sorghum you know the quality is pretty close to the same and so we just rather go with sorghum like i mentioned earlier this calving pasture won't be enough for jeff this year and so we're taking that dry corn we're chopping that we're putting it underneath and then look how green this stuff is then we're going to come in here we're going to take that we're going to chop it and put it on top and the juices from that's going to soak down in and so it'll ooh, almost walked in see that's that's some bristly foxtail right there you see how it's sticking to each other if i would have walked through that would have had a mess so we'll steer clear from that stuff but yeah this will be some fancy stuff you know it's got a nice seed head on it and so you'll get a lot of starches and just energy from that and so it's simu similar to corn um just gonna be a lot of leaf just really high quality stuff but way cheaper than corn so after they're done down there they're gonna come in here it's only about seven acres in there it's gonna ton out really well i can tell by looking at it oh i just rubbed up on one of them bristly foxtail and so then i'll soak in and it'll just make a nice pit and hopefully that will last us through the winter and into the spring next year and for those of you wondering why we don't chop our own stuff we'd have to buy some trucks we'd have to buy a chopper and it also takes quite a few guys right now there's two trucks going one chopper and then dad's packing over here and so we don't really have enough guys for that we could ask someone to help us out but it's kind of a one day thing and it's it's pretty easy for us to hire someone and it's not too terribly expensive it'd be pretty expensive for us to buy all that equipment and start doing it ourselves well we we used to cut our silage ourselves a lot and it takes it would take me longer to get ready to cut silage than what it takes an outfit like that to come in and cut our silage and and from the drone video you probably noticed you know it's not a big 900 horsepower machine just tearing through there and There's dad a, what's yeah what's your reason i on prefer that? that because i like to pack my silage and not have it coming in so fast that i can't uh, I don't feel like I'm doing it justice by sealing it up good, so. Yep, so, yeah. I mean, right now we're just sitting here. Dad feels like well, he, he packed it adequately, and, and it's, once the trucks get closer and it's not as long of a drive, uh, it'll be a little bit more well, they just started, too. They'll get flowing here. But they're taking endros off, too, and that's, you know, that's a, a lot of turning. Time. Did I ever tell you about the time that guy walked up to me and said that, told me that I was the best basketball player he'd ever seen? No. In, in his life. That was really nice of him to say. He passed out shortly after that, so I don't know how much weight it carries, but it was really nice to hear. He must have been very full on beer. Oh, I just think he was overwhelmed to meet me. Okay. <laughs> but I did have a good game against their team the last regular season, my senior year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I pretty much... I pretty much defeated the other team, full. Okay. And uh, I'm proud of, of that. Yeah. The crowd went wild, by the way. We won 48-47. Mm. I remember stuff like that. Nice. It's 40 years ago. Billy. Bill, my buddy Bill. I'm, I'm trying to get he video knows, of this. He knows what I'm talking about. He's my old high school buddy. I think they'd rather hear my stories than watch Silence Cut. Well, they clicked on the video for the, well, maybe not. Comment below, sandwich cut your brain stories. Can they hear me? Maybe. Is it on? That's my old buddy Lee Emdahl in that truck. He hauls cattle for me some. You know, you can call him at 8, 10 o'clock at night and say, hey, would you run up to here on and bring me a semi-loaded? I honestly don't know if they can hear you when I stick it out the window. Yeah, so that trucker is Lee Amdahl. He's an old friend of mine, and he also has a cattle pot. And there's been times where I call him 8 o'clock, 8, 9 o'clock at night and say, Hey, you run up to Huron and get me a pot load of calves I bought? And he'd be like, Yep, I'll be there right after supper. Nice. It kind of takes a while to dump double cylinder hoist there you know it's mm. built for strength not speed i see yeah. is that what you're built for no i'm built for power not strength or speed but oh, power was strength one of the choices yeah so i think strength and power are kind of synonyms yeah they well i don't know what a synonym 
cin cinnamon cinnamon rolls. So I'd have one of them. You're not built for brains either. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Cole. Oh, that does work nice. It's as smooth as silk, man. And to finish that pit out, we're going to pack it really good with the 9230. So I'm going to move this semi quick, drive the 9230 down there. pretty fun it's pretty low stress just you're just driving you're just driving around backing up and going forward it's a lot better than cracking corn that's for sure I don't even have to push it where it needs to go I just I just drive on it yeah and they just finished up they're pulling out How about that? That looks great. That pit looks pretty good. You know, it's not its not a terrible amount of feed, but we're looking at pretty good corn this year, so we don't want to put it in a pit. And then, you know, we're just working with that seven or so acres out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and you liked what you saw. We got a lot more going on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Look what we got.